Now, in all my time working in courts, I've seen people say and do some of the stupidest things that you could imagine. But one thing I've never seen is a guy turn up to a traffic court hearing where they're talking about his suspended license while driving. Because, of course, you can't drive a car into a courtroom. But you kind of can now with all of these awesome Zoom court hearings. This guy's got a cunning plan. But his plan was immediately thwarted by the judge and the absolutely wonderful Deborah Davis. She was one of the subjects of a massively viral video and if you'd like to see that I'll leave a link in the comment section down below where you can check that out. Is that you Mr. Freeman? Hey hey I'm here sir. I'm sorry I'm so sorry I'm late. <sighs> okay well you were supposed to be here live and in person. Um, um one second can you hear me? Yes where are you now? Okay I barely hear you. Right, where are you? Are you at work? I can hear you now. I can hear you now. We're all good. Are you at work? We're all good. I was just leaving work. Um, I was working 16 hours trying to catch up on bills, but I'm so sorry I'm late. I, this so, looks so terrible. Yeah, it does kind of look terrible, especially the fact that it seems like you might be an Uber driver and you got a passenger in the back, which is a bit strange because I'm pretty sure your license is suspended. But I don't have any yeah, excuses does. You're for you. You're with the driving suspended and you're sitting in the driver's seat of your car indicating me you just drove to work. So uh, you know, I need to no, get a ticket no. on the clue bus. No, so just a second. Uh, Mr. Bush indicated you called his office earlier today, uh, but um, and but he didn't have a chance to talk to you. Would you like to talk to your lawyer? Uh, yes, please. That's actually probably a really good idea. And maybe you two can come up with a plan about how you can get out of this little pickle. I hope your passenger's not still on the clock, by the way. It doesn't matter. You might as well stay where you are. You already ratted yourself out. All right, Mr. Freeman, I'm going to put you in a breakout room where you can speak with your lawyer privately, okay? Thank you. <laughs> Poor Andy. Yeah, uh, I just put him in a waiting room. Uh, Back in his day, he's younger than I am. I want to take a sip of my grapefruit flavored soda, but it looks like a beer. So I'm just going to. It's okay, lawyer lady. We get it. These guys would drive anybody to drink. You enjoy your beer. Sorry, you're not a beer. Okay, now it's just me. Don't have Matthew Keith. Okay. And I get to drink my soda. Who amongst us doesn't have problems with this newfangled social media stuff? Well, yeah, but you're you're under 30, Deb, so you're right. I identify as under 30 anyway. <laughs> so do I. He said he paid off one ticket and is working on paying off another ticket, which he thinks clears his license. I, that's what he tells me. And his license is not valid, John, so he needs to not be driving. Hopefully oh. the person in the back seat is a licensed driver. and can. He, he said there's another driver that's driving him. That's what, he wants to explain that to the car. Oh, I'm sure he does. Mm -hmm. So genius, how are you gonna get out of this one? Caught red-handed live in court in the driver's seat of a vehicle that you're not meant to be driving. Hmm, what could we possibly do about this one? He thinks he owes $190 before he's, he's clear to get a license. At least that's what he He told. may owe the Secretary of State or another county. Ah, very clever, I like it. They'll never suspect a thing. The only thing stopping me All from right, getting well, just, my just, license. Just a minute, let me get situated here. Okay, we returned to Alante Freeman, who's not here in person and is here by Zoom on short notice. Charged with driving suspended first offense. It's a misdemeanor, punishable by up to 93 days in jail and a fine of up to $500. Carries two points on your record, requires that your license be suspended. Uh, Deborah Davis is here from the prosecuting attorney's office and John Bush is here on behalf of the defendant. The defendant is in the same gray car EKG license plate that he got his ticket in. Um, but now he's moved to the passenger seat. Miss Davis, what's the circumstance here? 
Your Honor, the offer has consistently been that if he is able to get a valid license, that he could plead to allowing another to violate the motor vehicle code. I'm not thrilled about the fact that it appears that he may have been driving because the driving record shows he's not valid. The driving record isn't very clear about what he needs to do to get valid. It appears that his last license was a duplicate and it's expired as of December uh, 2021. So I'm not sure if it's a ticket that is holding him up or if it's not having gone to the Secretary of State to get his, his license. So that's, you know, he's not valid though, so he needs to not be driving. And the offer will remain open so long as he does not drive or violate any other laws. So it's open now? Yes, I would leave it open. I mean, obviously. Mr. We'll Freeman. Yes, sir. Yes, Your Honor. Prosecutor, even though you're apparently still driving around and being clear well, about it, stop. Um, has offered to plea to allowing another to violate the motor vehicle code. That carries no points, no driver responsibility fee, and doesn't get abstracted to your license. So it won't affect your ability to get your license from the Secretary of State. Do you understand? Yes, Your Honor. Are you willing to plead to that charge? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Uh, yes, Your Honor. And your license wasn't valid at that time? No, it was not. All right. Where are you working now? I see. And Menden. All right, good. Uh, I don't want you to say anything because I'm rank speculation. I believe you drove to work, you drive to work every day, you drove today, you're naive enough to call me from the driver's seat of your car, but I don't know any of that. I don't, I can't prove any of it and I can't just guess. Uh, what I will say is you're shooting yourself in the foot and you're running out of toes. If you get another driving suspended, you're going to lose your license, you're going to be Posed and you won't be able to get it. So if the guy in the back seat has a driver's license, have him drive. And you got a giant gift from the prosecutor, especially since you poked us both in the eye by driving in the meantime. But I'm going to do the normal fine of $75, $75 crime victims' rights fee, a $50 state minimum fee, and a $150 attorney fee. That's bad enough. I would suggest that you don't get caught driving suspended or you and I will have a discussion about the discussion we just had. Yeah, and then I'm going to have a discussion about the discussion about the discussion that you just had. I think that's right. So yeah, basically Genius rocks up to court in the car that he's not meant to be driving, live in front of a judge. <laughs> Thinks he's really clever by switching over to the passenger seat and still ends up with a few hundred bucks worth of fines, or as I like to call him, idiot tax. Yes, Your Honor. So you're going to join the breakout room again, then you're free to go. And don't drive. Yes, Your Honor. You want to be a trustee mowing lawns at the jail. You're almost <laughs> to the finish. Don't screw it up now, okay? I, you know it. I got you. All right. Seems like Deborah did not like his lack of decorum there. A judge looking at you, telling you what to do. And you say, that's all good. I got you. I got you, Your Honor. And then Deborah's hitting it with the old, woo, that must have stung. Anyway, folks, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making it. This was actually quite a pretty epic video for me. Not only did we have the judge, who's a really funny guy, and I absolutely loved him in The Patriot. We've got the amazing Deborah Davis over here. We had the dude up in the top side that was just chilling, laughing the whole way through the video. And then we got Discount Conor McGregor making an absolute clown of himself for our enjoyment. Now, if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it, make sure and hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell, all that good stuff. And we'll catch you in the next one. Sancha.